Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 The Lord has spoken and will not repent. Heed His words and give Him glory. July 17, 2007 From God the Father A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy, my servant, hear and understand, and take to heart my word. Here is wisdom. Look on these who have caused you great distress and heartache, even all these who have seemingly spoken against you in harsh tones, reproach, anger, envy, evil surmisings, contempt, strivings, blasphemies, heresies, backbitings and disputings of the heart and mind, in open and in secret. Timothy, to whom have these spoken, and with whom do they contend, by every contemptible thought and deed? Against whom have these gathered? They do rebel against their God. Neither can they bear to hear, though they speak of me, saying it aloud, even taking to themselves the name of my own son. Timothy, take not one word or deed to yourself, not one. Pray for them. For though they are learned, they have become unlearned, knowing not that which is of God, neither abiding in Christ, neither does he live in them. They have turned their faces from me, shining their false light before men, according to that same false doctrine received by their forefathers. Therefore, Timothy, how then do you contend with them, as they have contended with you? When in truth it is me they have rejected, even my own word given them, so they might come into true knowledge, a greater majesty of my word. So I ask you, beloved, have you written these words? Are these your own works you have shown before this multitude? Have you done all these things by your own commandment? Have you taught or planted even one seed of truth, according to your own understanding or knowledge? Vanity, Timothy, vanity! Taking these accusations and backbitings, even all these evil offenses and name-calling, to yourself is great arrogance the seeds of pride and vanities. For in the defending of yourself you have taken also all I have given you and made it yours unknowingly. It is my word, my understanding, my knowledge, my own spirit you have received. Step down from my throne and humble yourself and repent. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. And of these who say they know me, and do call of themselves Christian and Jews, even these I shall rebuke and chasten, so in their abasement they can be uplifted. I do correct and discipline even all those I love, even as I have done with you. So know and understand, these who will not heed my word, and do cast stones at my prophets by word and deed, in open and in secret. Even these shall by no means be gathered when the great day of the Lord comes. Shall I reward these solely upon their proclamation of faith in my name? I search the hearts and minds, and that spoken and unspoken the Lord does know. Even all the thoughts of the mind and the intent of the heart is known by the Most High God. So then, even that spoken by these, who seem oh so righteous before men, cannot cover over the heart's true intent by scripture and elevated words. Even those doctrines covered in scarlet and purple, I know and do hate. For from the heart comes forth all things done in action and spoken by the mouth. Nothing is born of itself. Rather, that done and that spoken was first born of the heart, even the innermost thoughts of the mind. Timothy, fear not any of these, nor strive over words with them. For they do have ears, but cannot hear, and eyes, yet they cannot see. For when even one tittle of correction or truth is spoken from the mouth of God, even of Christ, these do quickly cover their eyes and plug their ears lest they be found wanting and shown guilty of teaching heresies and blasphemies before God in the name of the Son. Desecration!
Shall I then reward them for these things, and gather them? Though they have learned nothing of the truth as it was meant to be received, spoken, and lived in, abiding wholly in the doctrine of Christ, by whom these are called, though they do not follow him. Nor do they carry any cross at all, refusing to pick it up for its weight, neither asking for strength, but turning aside after Satan, who has come to subvert even all these houses called by my own name. Timothy, I have given you a sword, not a handcart. Use what I have given you, for my sickle is poised and ready for reaping. But first, the harvest must be prepared and separated. You are sent as a teacher and prophet to those of a humble heart, who do always seek my face and as a watchman and a soldier to those who continually resist my word and stifle my spirit. Both the seeker and the obstinate shall be pierced and struck through, and the truly wicked slain therein. For the Lord your God is no respecter of persons, neither does the Lord change. Forever am I, and forever shall I be, the same and unchanging. Go out, Timothy. You shall go where I send you, carrying a sharp sword, which is not your own, but that received of mine, given unto you. Strike at the nations, strike them down, some uplifted unto great glory, and others to the humbling, and yet others, the wicked, to condemnation. So, all peoples, hear my word and understand. The prophets are sent out, their number 144,000 even twelve thousand of each tribe. Hear the trumpet and the warning. The day is at hand, the day of the Lord. Repent and give me glory. Kiss the Son, you know his name, Yahushua, the Holy One of Israel. The harvest is bundled. The shout approaches quickly and shall resound in all the world and in the ears of the first redeemed from the earth. The Lord has spoken, and shall not repent. All things shall come to pass and be fulfilled, even in one week's time, a seven-year period. Then, O oh, so insolent children, then shall you know a prophet had been among you. The time is at hand.